Okay, this video features a white model 265. This is a basic straight and zigzag machine with adjustable stitch width, adjustable stitch length, three level feed dogs, and reverse. Of course, bobbin winder there on the wheel. Um, 1.3 amp motor with simple internals means a lot more concentrated power for your projects. It is a low shank machine, uses 15 by 1 needles and class 15 bobbins. Our needles and bobbins can be purchased virtually anywhere, even at Walmart. Um, just a standard low shank screw on footer attachment will work. Um, I don't have any to include at this time and I do not go out and purchase accessories and that keeps our prices low. Um, you can always find nice lots on eBay or if you need a specific foot just hit your local Joann Fabrics and they have presser feet in stock. A um, few bobbins are included as well as the fabric samples that I'm about to sew. PDF copy of the instruction manual will be sent via email after purchase. It's a very easy machine to use. It's a nice beginner machine or it's a nice machine if you just have simple projects and you don't need any fancy stitches or features. Um, it does run by belt. It is a left needle machine, meaning that the needle home is on the left and the needle position is not adjustable. Um, switch to zigzag. Reverse it works good. And of course, you can always do creative embroidery stitches. And that is accomplished by um, just moving this spring-loaded stitch with lever t to the left or to the right as you sew, and that makes your stitch wide, narrow, wide, narrow. And of course, you pull in your length to make your design as long or as short as you want. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Sorry about that. So I'm going to pull in my design, and we're going to make some creative embroidery patterns. Tighten it up just a hair, widen, narrow, widen, narrow. Cosmetically, this machine is in very, very good condition. Paints nice, no major, major, major paint loss or damage. There's a minor ding here, and there's a minor ding over on the right side. It is tabletop ready, or it can be installed into a Singer cabinet or carrying case. Say it shares the same dimensions. Very nice creative embroidery pyramids there. That's what I just made. Um, we're going to go to some heavy duty stuff. This is 14 layers of cotton. I'm using a size 16 needle. No problem with that. Of course, you can go buy a new Walmart machine made of plastic, and then after you sew with it for about a week and everything breaks, come and buy a vintage machine that's all metal and will last 40 years. Nice stitches on 14 layers of cotton. How about six layers of denim? I'd like to see your Walmart machine tackle this for more than a couple stitches without binding up or napping a gear. Got the thread caught there. And we do these videos so that you, the buyer, knows and you are indeed getting a fully functional sewing machine. You don't have to just look at pictures and take our word for it. This is the machine you're buying. Nice stitch on six layers of denim. And last but not least, we're going to do three layers of garment leather. I'm not sure of the weight, but it's nothing super heavy, but it's nothing really light either. If you have something to sew, like leather pants, leather vest, a blazer, patches on your biker jacket, machine will have no problem. Of course, it's not an industrial machine. You can't sew a horse bridle with it or something like that. But if you want to do something basic, now like your boat upholstery or car upholstery, this machine would do a good job. 
perfect stitch on the three layers of leather. That is the white 1.3 amp Model 265.